Hello, my name is Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Remy, and we're working on his downstay. Now, when we're working with dogs, we always start to add variables to their commands to make them more bulletproof, more resilient. And today we're working on adding distance to Remy's downstay. Now, distance is the last thing that we always add to a downstay. The reason why is because we don't want to be far away and allow the dog to break. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, put Remy in the downstay position, and start counting my steps. So I got some food right here. Hey, Remy, down. Yes. Stay. And you see I'm giving the treat in an underhanded fashion and telling him to stay with a flat palm. I'm going to start counting my steps. Stay. One, two. I'm going to go ahead. Yes. Stay. One, two. And you see I'm just taking two steps back and then walking back to where I was. Yes. Stay. Giving him a treat. One, two, three. Yes. Uh-uh. No affirming breaks. I'm going to wait for him. Hey, what are we doing? Yes, stay. But I'm not going to treat him right away. I don't want him to think that if he breaks, he can get more food out of me. It's really important that we emphasize that we want to give him food for what he's doing correctly, not for breaking. It's been a couple seconds, so I'm going to treat. Stay. One, two, three. Yes. Stay. One, two, three, four. Yes, good boy. Really nice job. We're going to do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, good boy. Then when I'm ready to release Remy, I just tap on the head. Okay. And that was a really nice job from Remy. Even though he did break once, for the rest of the time I was working with him, he did stay down. This is a very difficult exercise to do. But for today, Remy did excellent. It was a really nice practice session.